fellas what up fellas what up fellas how's everybody doing tonight how is everybody doing tonight it's your man in the building feeling good the shape lion king bro listen guys i'm just gonna be in here too long but i got something very important that i want to share with you you see i was sitting back today bro all right feeling good in my zone and i'm constantly reminded bro about how great this life is when you retaining your seed. This is the only life, bro, that I want to live. I don't want to ever go back, bro, to what I was taught. My life is so beautiful, bro. I walk with so much grace, bro. I have so much respect for myself and everybody around me. And I absolutely vibe with everybody that's in my frequency. My life is so dang good. And I try to stress to y'all every single day that your life could be the same. All you have to do is sit back, bro. All you have to do, bro, is take the own, your own life, bro. Just take it, bro, and run with it, bro. Like you about to score a touchdown. And I promise you what's going to happen to you is you going to turn from Steve Urkel to Stefan overnight. You see, this energy, bro, is made to give you that edge. You know, I can see why people in the world try to find cheats to life, little codes that they can use to make themselves feel better. Well, let me tell you something. This is the ultimate steroid, bro. This is the ultimate book. This is the ultimate program, bro. There is nothing in the world that people can sell you that is going to give you the vibe, the aura, the swag to have all them haters around you mad. When I tell you everywhere you go, bro, you leave a smelly smell like stinky le pew. Everybody looks at you and wants to be like you because you are just the one. Do you understand, man? This is that him energy. This is that energy you got, bro. Every day, man, I wake up. I look out that window, bro. I see another day. I'm inspired, bro, by breathing fresh prana, bro. I'm inspired, bro, by going in that bathroom, grabbing my toothbrush, looking myself in the mirror first thing in the morning and realize that I done put in so much work, bro, that I am now in the position that most people want to be in this world. You see, I have no addictions. I'm in control of my lower nature. I live life high every single day. And I'm not talking about drugs. You see, this type of life, bro, is it just keeps you in a state where you're just happy. You live in a blissful world. You appreciate everything, everything, bro. When I tell you, you appreciate everything, you appreciate everything. I found a new love for music. I found a new love for nature. I found a new love for people, bro, who used to be in the same struggle boat as myself. But here's the thing, bro. This is what's so great about it is that it's so real. It's in the moment because right now, bro, you are in on this live. You are in on the energy that I am presenting presently from my authentic self, bro. This is that vibe. This is that glow, bro, that other people see, bro. And it gets contagious because it's not a front. This is the way you are. Do you understand that they have showed us and they have told us time and time and time again, bro, on how important our life force energy is to our body? It is the electric spark that creates a life. It is the glow that illuminated Bruce Leroy in The Last Dragon. It is that power. It is that Shorukin. 
It is everything that you need, bro, to transform into him. Your final form, bro. He man, Batman, Superman, whatever man that you want to create is what you can be when you're holding your seed. This ain't no act, fellas. I feel, no, I don't even, let me take that back before I even get too far. I don't feel bad for all the people out there who don't want to do this because this is the answer to all of your problems. All of those things that you're doing in life, all of those things that you wish you could have, if you just understood that you buckled down for a year, two years, and you focused in on yourself and you look within at all the power that you can create from this creative sexual energy, bro, you would understand, bro, that life is endless possibilities for you. You can create, you can manipulate, you can perceive, you can be intuitive, bro. You can talk to people telepathically, even though you think it's a joke. Your energy reaches people, bro. And this is where those people out of nowhere just reach out to you to see how you're doing. All right. Your old exes try to swing the block. All right. Everybody who tells you about this energy is correct. But the problem is, I just want you guys to understand that this is not no short term journey. You want to go long on this, bro, so you can understand how to wield this energy. See, it's kind of hard to put a serious, dangerous weapon in the hands of somebody who has never wielded any kind of power before. All right. This is why you have to train, bro. This is why you have to take time out of life and, and then fall back in the hyperbolic time chamber, bro, where you can go back and get yourself right, where you can go back and get that mind and that clear state of focus, bro. So you are able, bro, to control this ship the way it needs to be. My life out here, bro, in these streets, bro, is like a movie. Every day I leave here, bro, I'm in the mirror. I'm in my gear. I'm, I'm giving myself the biggest self-confidence talks before I walk out of this door every single morning, bro. Okay. And this energy is what gives you that. It makes you appreciate, bro. It makes you grateful, bro. It makes you strive, bro. When I tell you your mojo, bro, your life force energy, your chi, your ojus is one of a kind and it cannot be duplicated by anything out here. That's exactly what I mean. You're never going to find no drug like this. You're never going to find no book out there that's going to give you the information like this. You're never going to find anything outside of yourself. So stop looking. Understand, bro, that you have this supreme power, bro, to manipulate the cosmos if you wanted to. But you need to focus on just your life at this moment, okay? Before you can understand the true power of this godlike energy that we all hold in our between our legs in our seed, bro. This energy can have you doing anything you want. And I'm telling you right now, man, all I know is this, bro. I'd rather live this life, bro, knowing, guessing that there's a creator out there, there that, that the most high is out there watching every single step of my life and understanding, bro, that not only am I making myself proud, I'm making my pre creator proud of me by setting the example by being a true one percenter. I tell you what, I hear people every single day telling me they believe in the most high. They believe in their religion. They believe in this and they believe in that. But let me ask you a truthful question. How many people out there are actually taking the one percent route in life? How many people have actually gone in and truly worked on their imperfections, knowing that their creator, their God, okay, is watching them?
This is why I don't take all of these words that I hear from these people seriously, bro, because I know what it takes to go inside, bro. I know what it takes, bro, to fight urges. I know what it takes, bro, to fight addictions. I know what it takes, bro, to overcome sadness. I know what it takes, bro, to overcome being on the bottom and rising to the top. And this is why I'm in the position that I'm in. Because I've used this energy, I have cultivated it, and I'm showing you right now, bro, in the present day, in the moment, on how this energy can transform your life. You can be up here giving this advice to everybody. You could be writing books. You could be creating the most craziest adventures. You could be writing the new, new top R&B, new rap song. You could create an invention that we have never seen before. So it makes me sad to know that I look around me in the modern day and everybody around here is literally walking in a graveyard because all of these people are not going to reach their full potential. All of these people are going to pass and leave this earth, bro. All right. Unfulfilled, not fulfilling their destiny. Okay. And that is not what I'm about. And that is not what my content is about. And that is not what my channel is about. My channel is about self-improvement to the highest degree. And I take it seriously. And I go out in this world every day and I lead by example because I want to show you, bro, just a sample of what you can be. And all you have to do is believe in yourself, bro. Forget everything that you have known and been taught, bro. Give yourself that chance, bro, to be able to thrive in a world, bro, where things just seem like they're impossible to obtain. When I tell you guys that you can create anything, you can have the life that you dreamed of and you can be free as a bird, bro, with no dramas, okay? None, bro. No addictions, bro. No self-esteem problems, bro. You live life happy and all you do is give and give and give and you become fulfilled. See, this is a topic that most of you will never understand because you're not in his shoes, See, the funny thing is a lot of people want to get jealous. A lot of people want to hate. A lot of people want to know and try to understand how it is to be in these shoes. Well, I'm telling you right now, if I were to give them to you, I'm pretty sure you wouldn't be able to walk in them because these shoes have come a long way. These shoes have made some tremendous strides, bro. These shoes, bro, have showed people the most utmost discipline that mankind has yet to even stand up to. We're in a time, bro, where people like us, bro, are going to stand out. Do you hear me? We're in a time, bro, where women are starting out to come into their higher power. Women are starting to come into their higher self. Women are starting to evolve and elevate, and they're leaving the regular man behind. Who is it that you think these women are going to seek? They're going to seek a leader, a master. Somebody, bro, who can show and prove their worth by showing the discipline it takes to be a man in his frame. And this is what I want to put on your brain, that we are gods out here, but we forgot who we are, fellas. And all it takes in this life, all it takes in this life, bro, is to hold that seed. And you will succeed. I've said it over and over again. And I mean every word that I say. And I'm going to continue to keep proving that to everybody out there, including my doubters, that I'm going to the top, bro. I'm going to manifest everything that it is that I want. And you're going to see it right here on YouTube. And that is is how you do it. That is how you put a stamp, bro, on the end of your paperwork, bro, okay? And showing people, bro, that this is how you get it. 
And I want you guys to continue to stay on your journey, continue to feed off of one another, continue to support one another, continue, bro, to fight even though things are getting hard. We don't give up over here. That's a part of the journey. This is why we hold in our seed because it's going to give us that discipline to get anything that we need, bro. I want you to understand that. So when times get hard, bro, you will be able to overcome. But you see, when your life force is depleted, when you have a leak, when you have a, a nail in your tire, your air is going to start to seep out, bro. And with that air goes all of that confidence, goes all of that power because you are now depleted. And when you are depleted, I told you, you are defeated. And this is where you have to stay focused. But I, there's one thing in this world, and I promise you, if there's one thing in this world, bro, that is going to keep you where you need, it is that seed. So continue to keep going hard, gentlemen. Don't ever think about giving up, okay? Understand you have people watching you. You may have children. You might have a family. You might have a little brother that looks up to you. You need to set the example, bro, in a time like this, man, where you going to stand out, bro, and you going to set a new standard for where we're trying to go in this new movement, bro, with the higher energy and the frequency changing on this earth. We are going to be the ones leading that. We are the ones going to have the respect. We are the ones that are going to be in the positions that we want to be, which is a leadership position and a teacher. Do you understand, man? So keep staying on your grind. Don't give up, bro. And everything's going to turn out fine. What up, Dylan? My man Ray's in the building. Insights in the building. The real AF is in the building. How y'all doing? The guys in the building. Good to see all you guys in here tonight, man. Dylan says, what's good, fellas? What's happening with you, Dylan? I'm doing great, bro. I'm doing great. I'm on my Beverly Hills 90210 today, bro. I told you, I embody the energy that I want to uh, become, and it makes you that much stronger, and it's that much easier when you're retaining your seed, bro. This is your life force. This is your mojo. Let me ask you a question, bro. Let me ask you a straight-up truthful question, bro. In the movie, Austin Powers, we've all seen that movie, Austin Powers, bro, right? We've all seen that movie, Austin Powers. In the movie, Austin Powers, bro, what happened to Austin Powers, bro, when he lost his mojo? I've lost my mojo! To Austin Powers, when he lost his mojo. Was not Austin Powers an international spy, bro, who had all sorts of martial arts skills, all sorts of, of mouthpiece skills. What happened when Austin Powers, bro, lost his mojo? When he lost his mojo, he lost his cool, bro. He lost his confidence, bro. He lost his skill, bro. He lost his brain, bro. He lost his way, bro. He lost every positive attribute that made him who he was. And he wasn't even the best looking dude. Am I lying? Okay. This is the same thing that happens to us fellas. The more you retain your seed, bro, the more of the man you want to become. Okay. The more you retain it, the more of the man you become, bro. Okay. This is the way it works. So if you're out here and you're wondering why, man, you just wonder why you are not that guy. Well, you know what it is. So you can't get mad at other people out here on this journey, bro, getting it how they live. I want you to understand that, man. You all have this ability, bro. You all have this Stefan inside of you. It's time for y'all to drop the Steve Urkel, bro. Okay. It's time for y'all to stop being goofies, bro. It's time for you to pull out this dude right here. Your Stefan. We all got one, bro. 
You need to, it's time for you to pull him out, bro. Okay. We are marching to a new territory in life, bro. It's going to be real men out here getting real things. There's no more reaching in our pants, bro. There is no more reaching in our pants, bro. And playing with those stanky, musty, chafing balls. That's over, bro. We are done with that era. We have killed off that man and we have left him behind. It is time for us, bro, to take a role in this life, bro, and solidify our positions to not only the public, but to these women, bro. Okay. Cause you got to understand, bro. And in order to come a king, bro, you have to be crowned by a queen. Okay. And we all want that at the end of our day. We all want that at the end of our day. All of us want a happy home, bro. We're the queen, bro. And we're the king, bro. Okay. But you can't achieve that, bro. If you're out here wasting your life force energy, bro, because you're going to attract what you are putting out. So if you're out there and you're just trying to release your seed all day, what do you think you're going to attract back, bro? You're going to attract back a succubus. You're going to attract back a Lilith. You're going to attract back somebody who is going to no doubt give you what it is you need. Okay. And we already know how that ends up because most of us out here have been in and out of relationships, in and out of uh, commitments with different people because these people are actually not meant for us, believe it or not. I told you, bro, you, when you're out here with your seed, bro, and you're out here holding that seed, bro, and you're creating all of this magnetism, you are going to bring the people who are meant to be for you into your life. And that's the way it works. What's up, Truth and Broadcasting Station? My man, my man in the building, Damien Cruz is in the building. How you doing? With, how you doing tonight, Damien? Good to see you, brother. Good to see you. Who is that? The God says he's on day 66 for real word. Look at, look at the God. Look at the God up there looking ripped. Look at the God up there taking life serious, bro. Look at the God up there on seed retention. Look at the God up there getting his masculinity on. Look at the God up there, bro. Set an example, not only by his screen name, but by his avatar. I told you, you can create your own avatar out here, bro. You can stand out. You can do whatever you want. You can customize any part of you want of your avatar, bro. And this is what we're doing, our retention. When I tell you guys, man, we don't know who any of us are. We don't know. We don't know our potential, bro, because we're only just now tapping in on the very tip of this thing. Okay. We don't understand it yet, bro, but we're starting to see it as we keep going on and we keep evolving and we are watching the different people in the community share their stories. Okay. We've seen more and more and more of the possibilities that can come from this. All right. And I appreciate guys like the guy, bro, because he's setting the example. Man, you guys have no clue on who you really are until you go and take this journey seriously. I told you, bro, it's time to cancel the Steve Urkels and become the Stephans, bro. All right. We're not out here on this so-called so soft guy era. Don't be following trends on social media, bro. We in our real man era. We in the seed retention era. We in the higher self era, bro. Don't be swayed by what you see out here on social media, bro. Okay? Keep your head all strong because they trying to mislead you. I told you everything that they pump, bro, is going to lead you down that nasty rabbit hole. All right? Stay focused. Keep being you. And your life is going to turn out the way it is that you want. And that's on everything I love. Realize I have PTSD and I'm an empath surviving office due to retention. That's what's up, bro. 
That's what's up, bro. See, we all have our problems, man. We all have our issues, bro. Okay. All of us, man, we're no different, bro. But I promise you one thing, like the guy just said, bro, the longer you go on this journey, bro, the more discipline you put on this journey, bro. I'm telling you all those problems that you think you had just fade away. Okay. I'm telling you, this is the way it works. They just fade away. Why? Because you start to understand, you start to understand what was going on. You start to understand that you were a part of a lot of things that you, you you were stressing about. You understand that how to correct them. You understand how to cut certain people out of your life. You understand how, how to eat certain foods better, how to be in the bed better, bro. Start taking better supplements, man. And this whole transition, bro, changes your life, bro. And you start to see the beauty where you understand your life path. You understand what you were supposed to be doing, bro. You understand how to fix your own problems. And this is something I cannot make up, bro, because it's happened to me over and over and over again since I've been on this journey. All right. I appreciate you, God. Thank you very much for being in here tonight, brother. The real AF said, good to see you, brother. Good to see you, brother. Oh, my man, Wes West in the building. Good to see you, Wes West. How you living tonight, brother? Is everything good with you, man? You living good, man? Life is good. Everything treating you good, bro. You retaining your seed. You out there on your grind. You out there showing the world who you really is, huh? You out there leaving a mark on this world, huh? Is that what you're doing with your life, bro? Huh? You being somebody, you standing out in this matrix, huh? You making your creator proud, bro. Huh? Is that what you're doing? You set an example for your family members, bro. You set an example for your kids, bro. Is that what you're doing? Because that's what you need to do as a man, bro. Okay. When I tell you, man, when I tell you, bro, we are going to be respected because we're going to be the real men out here, bro. Okay. The women are going to be able to see this. They're going to be able to sense this, bro. Bro, when I tell you they can sense your energy, they can sense your energy, bro. And this is what they want, bro. They don't want this world no more. They never wanted this world in the first place, bro. Okay. But they had to adapt. But now things are going right, bro. And they're on their higher path, bro. They're going to be seeking for men just like us, bro. So I want you to continue to be righteous, man. I want you to continue to set examples. I want you to continue to work hard. I want you to continue to grind, bro. Because all that's going to do is make you shine on the outside. You cannot fake retention, bro. Your looks are going to enhance 10 times. Your jaw structure is going to enhance. Everything about you is going to enhance, bro. And that is attractive, man. Do you hear me? Because you're going to stand out. And this is where we're going in 2024. I appreciate you for being in here, Wes. Wes, salute, brother. Insight, what's happening with you, bro? Good to see you, my man. Good to see you, Insight. Approaching my seventh year of cel celibacy this summer. Celibacy this summer. That's what's up, bro. Good job, Insight, brother. Good job, man. That's what's up, brother. That's what's up, man. That takes a lot of work, a lot of discipline. Can, can you answer something for us quick, Insight, man? What have you learned in a, in a short little paragraph, bro? What have you learned, bro? D is this the life for you? Is this the only life to live? Like I just explained at the beginning of this stream, this is the only life to live, bro. This is the only way to be, bro. There, it, You will have no excuse for anything you do ever again in your life if you come on this journey, bro. I see people every day, bro, and they walk around looking just different. Defeated and tired, bro. Okay. Tired, bro. When I tell you, bro, I see so many people every day. Like I said, I have a lot of clients and plus they're just people that I meet on a daily. When I tell you everybody be coming around me trying to leech off my energy, bro, I cannot make this up. They don't got it, bro. Okay. Because 99% of these people, bro, are sexually depleted. This is the way it works. Men and women alike, bro. Okay. And you can see it all over their face, bro. 
Okay. They're very, they're very antisocial. Don't have no confidence. They can't hold no eye contact. Okay. They avoid people, bro. They don't take care of themselves. They don't eat healthy, bro. They don't study, bro. Okay. These are those people, the people with the light, bro, that you see that got the glow that's retaining their life force energy are the people that that we see out here every day that'll reach out and touch you. The people that are every day that'll reach out and say something nice to you to try to make your day to have a smile on their face. They have good body language. They have strong body posture, bro. Okay. These are the people you can tell who are living the life that they need to live. But unfortunately, we're in a, a society today, bro. Like I said, man, it is literally controlled, bro, by the lower half, the lower energy threshold, the lower red chakras, bro. OK, and for, as a result of that, you have people out here, bro, who are just low in energy, bro. And this can make this place a very uncomfortable place to be. Do you understand, bro, that we have the ability, we have the power, bro, to change all of this? We do. But we have to lead by example, bro. We have to show these people, man, what it's really like to live over here, bro. OK, because I'm telling you the truth. People don't want to be miserable, bro, but they always think something is harder than it is. But if we start standing up and we start showing them the way, man, more and more people are going to end up getting it. For sure, Insight. That's what's up, bro. You did an amazing job, bro. Ray Bro says, this is an inspiring-ish. I appreciate you, man, because that's what we do over here. I told you, I'm not one of them dudes. I want you to fly, homeboy. I want you to fly. I don't want you to be one of these dudes that's sitting down there and all of us is flying and having fun and you can't go where we're going. What kind of ish is that? What kind of people is that? That's some selfish people right there, bro. I want everybody to fly, men and women alike. The more, the merrier. I'm trying to have the biggest party ever, bro. OK, and the only way we're going to do that is got to get everybody on the same frequency and that frequency is positivity. OK, and the only way you're going to get positivity, bro, is by stopping all the negativity. You have two sides of a battery, right? This is the top of the battery. This is the bottom of the battery. This is the positive. This is the negative. The problem is we have everybody that's down here on the negative side of the battery instead of on the positive side of the battery. And once they understand that small little thing, bro, they are able to turn around that energy, bro, and change their outer world. And this is what I want people to understand. Until we get people doing that, thinking with their upper half, their heart, their, their, their uh, crown chakra instead of these lower extremities, bro, which are keeping them behind, which is further and further and further putting them in a bigger hole. Every single time they make a decision from that lower nature, it is causing them some kind of karmatic debt. And it's time to free the people, bro. Okay, it's time to free the people. We already got the movement started, man. We already got Texas shutting down the pornography sites. Pretty soon, bro, that little that little pamphlet is going to get around to us and we're going to be able to take our initiative stance on it. Okay, next thing you know, that stuff's going to be completely banned from the internet. And that's phase one. Phase two, we start opening up schools. Phase two, we start having more live streams with people calling in again, sharing their stories. Okay. Okay. Phase three, we start writing books. We start putting out audio books, right? We start doing stuff like that. Stage four, we start having all sorts of meetings in live per in live people. You know, in live person, we have people coming in, flying in from different uh, states, man, meeting at a convention, bro. Okay. Stage five, bro, we create a, a business. We create a huge business with all the associates that we know, with all the pool that we got. With all the different people that came in that can add their 10 cents to the bowl. This is way bigger than people think, bro. Okay. And like I said, man, we're at the forefront. We are the leaders, bro. We are about to create something big. So if you want to go on this journey, you want to be along with all of us, man, when we hit the top, then I suggest you get on this right now, man. Okay. Because you're going to be able to add something. Like I said, bro, so many of us have so many different abilities. We don't know who is who. We don't know who's going to add what special gift to a creation, okay? All we know is that this creative energy has us individuals creating our different things. So just imagine what it's going to do for you.
That's what's up. Dylan says, I have said ye are gods. And that's what it is, bro. We're coming into our power, man. We're coming into who we are. Okay. The only way you're going to be able to tap into that energy is to conserve your God energy. What is your God energy? I don't see any other God energy that we have, but the sac the sacred energy exchange. That's our God energy. Why do we say that? Because the God energy is create creation energy. It brings life right? That's God energy. So if that's our energy, so if we start start holding that God energy as men and the women start holding their God energy as women, then we come into the likeness of our Godhood. This is when our whole minds change. This is when our whole thoughts change because now we're working with the, like I said, the positive side of this battery. We're working with the upper, you know, um, part of our higher self. And this is what we want. We want people to think from this, this platform instead of the platform down here. And if we can do that, bro, if we can do that, man, we're going to be willing some serious power. And there's going to come with that. It's going to be some serious change. So like Dylan said, ye are gods. We do. We have that ability. That's our creative life force energy. It can bring life. So if we stop giving that out, we stop wasting that life. What do you think that life is going to do to your battery? Baba Stein says, day 282, SEMA retention is a cheat code. Tell them, bro, to the matrix, to the matrix. We out here winning, bro. We out here winning, bro. Do you understand, bro? Man, listen, let me, let me, let me give you an analogy on how good it is to be at the forefront of seed retention, bro. You look at all these businesses. Let's take Apple, for example. You imagine if you would have got in on the Apple company, bro, when it was super cheap. You imagine if you would have got in and bought some stocks on how rich you would have become. Well, this is the same example with seed retention, bro. You are in at the forefront. You're at the beginning. You're, at, you're still in on this stock, bro, where people are still in, only 1% in. You have the ability to tap into this stock, bro, and become richer than you could possibly imagine in every single way, okay? Because it riches you to your soul. It riches you to your mind because you come creative and then you start creating things, okay? When you start creating things, guess what that means? That means you start attracting things. And when you start attracting things, guess what that means? That means you start accumulating things, and when you start accumulating things, guess what then, bro? You have now just created the law of attraction from your creative energy, bro. Okay? And we are on the forefront of this technology. You need to get in, bro, while there still is time. While you still have time on this earth to continue to fix your life and get your life right. While the creator's looking down on us, okay? You need to tap in, bro, okay? There's no excuse why nobody out here can't do what I'm doing. It's not, no one's going to be able to force you, bro, to not do this. Okay. It becomes a battle with yourself. Like I told you guys, you have, you, you're literally fighting yourself. That is this life, bro. You're battling yourself throughout this whole life, bro. Okay. To eventually try to free yourself from your own mind. Your own mind inside of this body has you caged and locked down, bro. I want you to think about what I just said. Your own mind, bro, has you locked down, bro. Caged down, bro. Your own mind. But I thought you was in control of your mind, man. You got to be able to control your mind, bro. And once you do that, bro, guess what? You have now unlocked every single code in the game. And this is how you win, bro. Okay. So understand, man, there's going to be problems. There's going to be ups and downs. There's going to be times that you want to give up, but I promise you, if you don't quit and you keep holding that seed, that's all you're going to need, bro, because it's going to help you get over those tough times by giving you the confidence and the strength that you need to keep going. Heck yeah, bro. We're proud of you, man. For real, Inside. You keep doing your thing, bro. For real, bro. For real. 
<laughs> the real AF says, speaking the gospel, man. I'm just telling the truth, bro. This is how it is, bro. Okay, this is how it is over here. And this is what we're going to continue to keep doing, man, because it's working. All right. It's not only working for me, it's working for everybody around me, man. Like I said, this is the only life, bro, that I want to live from here on out, bro. I am satisfied with what I'm doing. Okay, I am happy. I am proud. I am making the creator, bro, smile every single day. Okay, he is looking down upon me, bro. He is going to open up so many wonderful things in my life, bro, because I'm doing the right thing. And this is how I want to receive. This is how I'm open to receive. And this is how I'm open to attracting abundance, bro, because I'm living at a frequency, bro, where there is no judgment. Okay, there's no hate, bro. All it is is positive energy, bro. And it's reaching other people. And as long as we can all continue to keep doing this, like I said, bro, we're going to be able to create so many things in our lives. We don't even understand the possibilities yet. Okay. But until you tap in, okay, until you tap in, you're going to be one of those people who, who come to these streams and are not going to understand everything that we're saying. What I'm telling you guys is we're energy beings, bro. We can create anything we want. And if we have all of this positive energy going towards the same energy, you know, the same goals, all right, we're going to be able to create a lot of great things in our life. And that's on everything. <laughs> he says you don't even look real no more bro that's crazy i know bro it's like bro listen man <sighs> man bro i just sit here every day and i'm just amazed on how far i'm going i'm just amazed at like what i'm seeing what i'm learning um what kind of thoughts you know go through my mind every single day okay what I put out every single day, how the outside world perceives me. And I think that that what makes me keep going. I think that's what makes me never going to give up because it's the outside world. I don't have a whole lot of people in my immediate circle right now who can give me that feedback. But every time I go outside this door, I kid you not, I wish I had some kind of like Google glasses or something like that. So you can actually see my life for yourself. Okay. See how people treat me. See how people know me. See how people are always giving me the same compliments that I come on here and tell y'all because it's really for real. And it isn't because I'm this and this and that. No, it's because I've changed my energy and how people perceive me. I've created a different avatar and what I want to show the world. And I stand on that. Okay. And I'm telling you, you could do the same thing. Okay. I, I stand on the avatar that I've created. I stand on it, bro, because I've got my whole intentions behind it. And when you have your whole intentions behind something that manifests, and this is what I've manifested. I manifested to be this dude. I want to be a cool ass teacher. I want to be a cool ass uh, uh, leader. That's who I want to be, bro. I want to be, I told you, I've, you've heard me say so many different things on who I want to look like and who I want to be like, well, I'm manifesting it. OK, and you can do the same thing instead of sit back and be upset and be mad and be jelly. You can look in the mirror at yourself and do the same thing with your life. And then next thing you, we can come together, bro, and congratulate. OK, because that's the kind of energy I'm putting out. Oh, yeah, the earthquakes was crazy, bro. Yeah, it was cruising broadcasting station. The earthquakes was crazy, man. We're going to talk about that, bro. We're going to uh, start another stream here probably in the next few days, and we're going to get an open panel, bro, and we're going to talk about that. Um, probably going to call it, you know, you know, something like is, is, is the, you know, is this the end times or something like that? We're going to get on a live stream, and we're going to talk about it, okay? But uh, right now, I just want to stay focused on the uh, semen retention and seed retention, bro, because I want people to understand how special this is. Okay, you looking at me, bro. You looking at me, man. You looking at me, bro. All right, you hear the voice, bro. You look at my face. You look at how my whole body's unchanged in front of you. You can see the testosterone, bro. Do not cap. You can see what two over two years of holding your T does to somebody. Okay, you are seeing it. All right. I don't need to act. I don't need to make nothing up, bro. Okay. I don't need nobody hating on me. I just need people to understand this is what's going to happen, bro. When you do it. Okay. You're going to have the same outcome as me. You're going to pull that side out of you that you never thought you had. 
And this is the side that you always need to be on top, bro. This is the side that you always need to be able to have what it is you want. You need this person in a radical world like this, bro, where they destroy people with confidence and they try to hold people down and they have the crab in the bucket mentality. You need a strong avatar character like this, bro, who is full of confidence and drive, bro, who will not by any circumstances be stopped. I'm, a, I'm like, I'm in my running back prime out here. You get in front of me, bro, you're going to get trucked. And I mean that by everything. Okay. And this is the energy I'm trying to tell you. I couldn't imagine if I had this type of energy when I was playing football, bro. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? They wouldn't have, they already couldn't have touched me then. Now imagine how they're going to touch me now. They, it would be that much worse, bro. This is the type of energy that we all need, bro. Okay. All of us. Instead of that hateful, spiteful energy, like I said, that you're doing nothing, you're just wasting yourself and you're just living a miserable life, bro, where you're not happy with yourself. And you can honestly say that, okay? Because if you were happy with yourself, you'd be a person that congratulated people. You'd be uplifting people. You'd be positive, bro, okay? Instead of faking the funk, trying to hold up a fake persona for the world. That's how you know you're lost, Okay. The person that you are truly supposed to be is going to come out of you when you're holding your seed. West West says, stay safe out there. Truth and broadcasting station facts, bro. You got to, man. It's crazy out here, brother. Yes. Yeah, high vibes, man. Hey, yo, yo, listen, man, make sure y'all went over to my man. High vibes channel. And subscribe, bro. He's a real one, bro. Real talk, man. Don't forget about my man, man. Check out his channel, bro. Dylan says, day 31, can't wait to get back, can't wait to get racked those months up. Yeah, bro, for sure, for sure. I mean, listen, I got to keep it real, bro. I told you that in this era, in this time, bro, anytime you can retain your seed for that long, Dylan, you're doing your thing, okay? You're already on your way, all right? Don't be discouraged, bro, okay? We're all human, bro, but... The thing is, brother, if you've already gotten that far, bro, then you're going to be able to pick up this journey pretty easily. Okay. You just got to stay focused and you got to make it over those, those valleys and peaks. Okay. Because you're going to be tested. You're going to be tested. This is why everybody can't have the superpower. This is why so many people get jealous when they see another person and they swag because they can't make it through those hills and valleys. If they made it through those hills and valleys, bro, they would be sitting here congratulating. They'd be sitting here applauding. They'd be sitting here supporting, okay? But until then, bro, they're just going to be sitting back, bro, still living in that envious lower nature. They're, you got to understand, these people are only 30 days, 60 days, uh, 90 days out of their lower self. Does that make sense to you? They're only 30 days, 60 days, 90 days out of their lower self. This means they still have the possibilities of slipping back. This means they still have that possibility of relapsing. Okay. They're not out of the hills and valleys yet, but the longer you go, bro, the longer you keep going in that straight line with no distractions, bro, you're eventually going to reach that point where there is no turning back. And when there is no turning back, you've already locked in the character that you have now created. Okay. And from that point on, that character is going to be driving this ship the most appropriate way possible. All right. And this is how you end up getting to this point that you want to be at. Okay. But until then, like I said, man, life is a journey. Okay. Life is a journey. All right. You got people like us to give you the motivation. You got people like us to tell you what you're going to experience on this journey. It's just time for you to stop making excuses, bro. Okay. All of you, it's time for you to stop making excuses, bro. And if you don't want to do this, then you don't want to do this. But everybody I know who truly, truly watches this concert has some kind of curiosity about what they can become. I don't know one person who is not working on self-improvement. I don't know one person that doesn't take supplements. I don't know one person who doesn't believe in working out and getting muscles and staying in shape, making themselves look good, 
putting on, doing your hair, putting on the best clothes, putting on, well, what do you think is going to enhance more the longer you go with your sexual essence, which is the whole key to you even acting like that in the first place? What do you think you're going to do when that energy is coming back into your body and is not being depleted? The, like I said, the possibilities are to the sky. You don't know. You don't know who you are. You don't know who's about to come out of you. But uh, one thing that I will promise you is, it's always going to be something very, very high that you never, ever thought was possible. Truth Broadcasting Station says, I was in my car for two hours later thinking, damn, they open up the portal on these demons. They come through the underground. Like in the Super Mario Bros. movies, facts, bro. Hey, did you go check that out, bro? Is that what you wouldn't check out? Did you go check out the movie already? <laughs> West West is grinding, bro. That's what we got to do, West West, man. You're a real one, bro. I hope you taking care of yourself, bro. I really do, man. Like I said, there's if you're not who if you're not with the person bro who is your soulmate and you're not the person with the person who is your twin flame bro I, bro i i don't see why you would not want to become clark kent right now okay do you you don't want to become superman bro listen man i can't make it up i wish i had all the words to keep explaining to you the different types of things all i can try to tell you is the best way possible and the best way i can explain to you bro is like Bro, you're you're tapped in with everything, man. I I have superpowers, bro. I feel like Clark Kent. I feel like all of these figures that we look look up to as heroes, okay, and leadership, okay. This is what you encompass, bro. Okay, and all those people, like I said, who's came before us, who's written these books, who have who have uh, you know showed us, bro, the the greater life that you can live. All of them came on this exact same journey, bro. Okay. So if you don't want to do that, then it, then I guess it ain't for you. But like I said, I don't know one person in this world who doesn't do any kind of self-improvement, bro. And this is the best self-improvement that you can do hands down. <clears throat> yeah, I want you to. And so I, I told you, bro, listen, we're going to do that live panel. Um, Truth and Broadcasting Station suggested it. So what we'll do is... One of my next lives, I'm going to put it up there. You'll know when I see it. It'll it'll be about the end times or something like that. I got to figure out something that YouTube's not going to hate on. And then we'll just come on and we'll just talk, okay? And if you guys want to talk about retention too, we can do that. But I really want to hit on what's going on because I want my you know subscribers and my audience to know uh, what's going on. You know, I want to give them some insight on different things that they might not know. For sure, brother. For sure. The real AF says, been following your journey since the days when you would take five phone calls with the other Kings retaining. That's what's up, bro. That's exactly what I was doing, bro. And, you know, unfortunately, that, that cir circumstance just, you know, it didn't last very long. But like I said, man. I know that there's enough people out there who are on this self-improvement journey, bro, and they're going to want to come in on this and they're going to want to learn and they're going to be able to want to get some things off their chest and maybe they want to vent and maybe they want to have some, you know, advice from people who are, who've made, okay. And I'm going to be willing to give that. And I want you guys to, you know, add your two cents as well. I know many of you guys have done the same journey. You're going to have different information that people haven't heard. And, and this is what we're going to do. We're just going to make it a time for all of us to share. What's good? Cabby in the building. I haven't seen you in a while, bro. Good to see you in here, man. Operation Shutdown. This is the only life to live. I'm trying to tell you this is the only life to live. How, how is it not? How is it not? I'm going to spray this one last thing and I'm going to get out of here, bro. Listen, how is it not the life to live, bro? Okay. How is it not? If you understand, like I've said in a lot of streams, I told you that your sexual energy, bro, is the strongest energy in the world. I told you, bro, that that sexual sin is like the worst thing that you could do in the eyes of your creator. If you have those two things in your knowledge bank 
and you know that every single thing that you've done out here is being watched, you're being judged, whether you believe it or not, whether that's being judged by yourself, whether that's you being judged by your peers, or whether that's you being judged by the most high. Regardless, you should be out here living the life to the fullest. And what do I mean by that? I mean by being in an example. I mean that by taking your life, bro, by true control, okay? Not giving in, not falling down to temptation, bro, okay? Becoming something that you never thought was possible. That is going to make your life fulfilled. That is going to make the most high proud of you. And this is what I want y'all to do, man. You got to understand this, bro. From the bottom of my heart, guys, it is the way better life over here. I am never going back to that person that I once was. He is gone. He is gone. And from here on out, what you're going to continue to see, bro, whether I fall in with my twin flame or my soulmate or not, you're going to keep continuing to see someone who retains his seed, someone who's going to keep staying on the self-improvement journey, someone that's going to keep educating, keep teaching, and keep uplifting his peers. And this is the mark that I want to leave behind when I leave this place. No matter what anybody says about me, bro, the people that know me, okay, are going to know who I was. And as well as all the people around me who really loved me. And that's what I want you guys to understand because I'm telling you on the end of your days, if you don't get lucky enough to live out your days and then, you know, be raptured from this place, if you will, or ascend at this place, if you will, if you live your end days, bro, and you end up on that bed, you're going to want to know, bro, that you live the best life that you could with no regrets. I promise you, this is everybody I've ever seen, everybody I've ever talked to says the exact same thing. So why not get your ducks in order now before that time comes? You you don't ever know. Like I told you guys, you never know. You could leave tomorrow, okay? Tomorrow could be your last day. The next hour could be your last day. And all I want to do with that in the back of my mind is continue, bro, to show who I really am as a human and as a soul on this planet. And that's what I want all of you guys to do. So you guys have a good rest of the night. I appreciate you guys for coming in here tonight. I'm about to get up out of here, bro. You guys have a safe weekend. I love you guys, man. Take care, brothers. LBC gave me the spiritual backbone. My soul needed to overcome all and any adversity this world can throw at me, spirit is invincible, bro. <laughs> invincible. That was, bro, that was beautifully said, man. And that's what we're talking about right here, bro. That's the type of leadership I'm talking about, bro. That's the type of thing that these people need to hear, bro. Okay. This is what's going to help them unlock their souls, bro. Okay. When I promise you guys that it is glorious over here to the point on once you get to the promised land, bro, you're going to understand. But like I told you, it's a long journey to the promised land. The most high did not make this an easy journey for a reason because he doesn't want everybody who is unworthy to be able to wield these type of powers. Because once you get here, bro, you're going to be able to use these type of power for corruption. And one thing that we know, man, is man Okay, man in general, I'm not I'm not putting us all under, you know, the same category, but man in general has got corrupt when he receives power. Okay, and this is the reason why the real kings, the real leaders, okay, of tomorrow, the real prophets of the most high take this journey because it's a journey that you absolutely earn, bro. Okay. And once you've earned it, bro your life, man, your life starts to show and reflect every single thing that you've done picked up on this journey. And this is why you are that man. This is why you will always be happy. And you'll always be able to progress and you'll always be able to create the life that you wanted. So you guys have a good rest of the night. I will talk to you guys on the next one. I love you guys, man. Peace, brothers. I will not stay even if I must sacrifice my life.